So um, it was a surprising decision uh, when Emmanuel Macron said he would be stepping down. Yes, it caught a lot of people here by surprise. Um, and Le Mans now is seeing this this move by Macron as an obstacle for Francois Hollande to overcome. Uh, the paper reports that Macron has said that he's going to spend time with his new fledgling political movement, En Marche, or Forward. And the paper goes on to say that while he was an unknown just two years ago before before being plucked by Olan to be placed into his government, he's now managed to make a name for himself as a straight talker with a bit of a rebellious streak. And that um, the paper says now is the time for Macron to capitalize on his notoriety. But the paper does wonder whether he'll be able to translate that into votes at the box office. Well, now a new poll is calling into question Macron's popularity. Right. This comes um, also from Le Figaro, and the paper found that the majority of French people don't want to see him run for president. Sixty percent, in fact. And for those who consider themselves left-leaning, the figure is even higher. Sixty-seven percent wouldn't want him to run. Then the paper also goes on to ask if Macron does enter the presidential race, do they want to see him make his announcement before the Socialist Party primary? And again, the overwhelming answer there is no. Sixty-three uh, percent of French are against it, and 60% of those that consider themselves on the left say no. And pro-business paper L'Opinion is weighing in, too? Yes. Uh, L'Opinion is asking, will Macron be able to shake up the system? Um, the paper uh, says that right now there's a real disillusionment with the political system here in France, and that um, Macron has come out and said that he's sort of neither on the left, neither on the right. He sees a different path forward for himself. Um, paper, however, has this editorial cartoon, and in it you can see uh, Macron. He looks appear, appears to be on the moon there, and he's uh, holding a flag with uh, that says En Marche, or forward his political movement there and he's saying it's uh you know a one small step for man one big step and then there's a pause and you can see Francois Hollande on the left Nicolas Sarkozy on the right and um Francois Bayrou who's kind of the the middle candidate here and they're all saying nope sorry this spot is full so the Figaro is asking what Macron's departure means for his candidacy um, yes, he's, he's, the paper is seeing it as a delicate balancing act here for Francois Hollande. The paper says that Hollande, you know, he, he's supposed to announce if he's going to run again in December. So he has just three months to pull together his candidacy. And some are thinking um, that it's looking more and more like a long shot here and that the timing of Macron's departure couldn't be worse for the administration, disrupting some of the government's plans of laying out how things have been slowly improving to make the case for a re-election bid for Hollande. So is that the point the press is looking at on Holland, Hollande's record on education? Right. So today, Thursday, September 1st, it's back to school day here in France. So, of course, the paper, you know, papers here in France are saying it's a great time to take a look at Hollande's education record. So um, we'll we'll start with uh, Liberation and the paper there. Their assessment is that for Hollande, it's been a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, he promised to create 60,000 jobs in education. And as of right now, according to the French education minister, that uh, 42,230 uh, 238, excuse me, posts have been created. So he's fallen a little short there. But however, the teachers union say that despite, you know, that progress, not much has changed. The number of students per class size is roughly the same because since between 2007 and 2016, there's been an increase of pupils by 260,000. So there you, you know, you may have more teachers, but again, you need even more because you have more students. And also, Libé found that there's been some progress on fighting inequality in schools. Reports that the government has been working to lower the number of students that don't graduate. In 2012, that was 140,000. And the most recent report found that that number had fallen to 110,000. But Le Figaro paints a gloomier picture. Yes, and it's no surprise there. It's a conservative paper, no real big fan of President Francois Hollande. Um, and here in the paper, they point out that in the last four years, there have been three ministers of education. So a bit tough to keep working on education policy if the person in charge keeps changing. And it says that um, reforms in college or, or middle school, I mean, college, excuse me, that we call that here in France, that they haven't borne much fruit yet.
And finally, we're taking a look at the work of the late French photographer Marc Ribou, who recently That's passed right. away. That's right. Yes, he passed away um, at the age of 93. Now, he got his first big break at 29 when um, Robert Capa and Henri Cartier-Bresson invited him to join the prestigious photo agency Magnum. And the Liberation has done this very lovely spread with them. Many of his most famous photos, he's on the front cover of the paper, and um, uh, we can see one that just, you know, iconic around the world, the girl with the flower. For many, that, that summed up uh, the protest against the Vietnam War that was taken in the United States, Washington, D.C., 1967. You can see a little girl putting a, a flower in the barrel of a gun. Um, also, he's, uh, you know, not just, he's known for taking photographs around the world. We also have a photo from Libé of a soldier, and um, this is in Congo, in Kinshasa. And you can see there, in the reflection of the sunglasses, another little soldier um, looking back. So, really iconic photos here. Uh, worth looking through Libé to see more of them. Thank you very much, Catherine. That's Catherine Viette reviewing the French press for today. Well, we're taking a very short break now, but I'll be back in just a few moments with the latest headlines and another 30 minutes of news.